It all stems from this footage captured outside an east side business, one that shows multiple men holding and beating a transient accused of attacking a school teacher. The video has raised serious questions about what happened that day and why none of the men involved, one of whom was the teacher's husband, were charged for their actions that day. Investigative reporter Sean Rice joins us live in Pueblo tonight with more on what the chief is saying about the incident. Sean. Yeah, Barton Heather, Chief Noller tells me his officers simply have to be better. He acknowledges that they failed the man who was severely beaten by both Doug and Nate Collison. But after further investigation, Noller tells me Pueblo PD has now referred assault charges over to the district attorney's office for all three men involved. This violent assault took place on September 14th, 2022. In never before heard audio, several concerned citizens reported what they were seeing. It looks like someone's getting beat up right outside of our store, like physically there's a man pinning him down and two people um, beating the crap out of him pretty much. One caller who is clearly shaken can be heard employing dispatchers to send someone quickly. They're restraining him and no, someone, he just got kicked in the head. I need someone here as soon as possible, please. He's getting beat like very hard. I need someone here. So what happened when officers did arrive? Previously unseen body camera video obtained by 13 Investigates is giving us a clearer picture. Doug Collison, a volunteer medic with the county SWAT team, and his son Nate, a trained MMA fighter, told officers that Alex Montoya, a homeless man, had punched and spit on their wife and mother. I did try to detain him here just in case so you guys showed up. And uh, right. there we go. So how, do you know how he got the blood on? Was that already on there? So, he was, so he was trying to resist it a little bit. And uh, my son right here, he must have heard too that he, sure, so he came up and, and helped put him to the ground. So At no point did either one of the Colossons volunteer the fact that Montoya put up in your face, all right? I got punched. was severely injured by punches and kicks. Collison's words even prompting this response from one of the officers. So he's kind of fighting my dad back, you know, kind of had to wrestle him down a little bit. Yeah, man, that's kind of crazy. I was like, I'm bro. Yeah, that's up. Now, Pueblo Police Chief Chris Noller has opened an internal investigation into his officers' actions that day to include just what happened and, more importantly, what didn't happen that day. They should have done further investigative work. There's, there's no doubt. I think they would agree with that at this point. Uh, um, I think it is certainly not a shining example of the work that we do every day. Um, and we should have been a little bit more thoughtful in, in how we approach that investigation. Dolar says the investigation will look into why the video was never collected into evidence until seven months after the incident. A mistake the agency has said was due to technical difficulties. It shouldn't have ended up the way that it did. Um, there's no doubt uh, we're not happy. And, and again, I, I think it would be fair to say that the officers are not happy with, with uh, the errors that they made. We reached out to D.A. Jeff Chosner to see if he plans to take action on those charges recommended by police. But tonight we're still awaiting his response. As for Noller, he wanted to stress to me that there's no quote unquote cover up tied to the errors made in this case, which is a rumor that's been gaining steam on social media because of Doug Collison's ties to the county sheriff's office. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. All right, Sean, thanks for the update.